I will pay $10,000 cash out of my life savings to each and every confirmed victim of UFO abduction. If I'm wrong about this, I will be bankrupt, I can be bankrupt, and my wife and I will have to work until we drop dead. After investigating UFOs for over 20 years, Philip Klass, writer, science editor, and world-class skeptic, has come to one conclusion. The chances of people being abducted by Santa Claus mischievous elves is far greater than the chance of being abducted by an extraterrestrial. And Klass is putting his money where his mouth is. If anyone reports that they've been abducted the FBI, if the FBI investigates and says, yes, we do indeed believe this person was abducted by UFO creatures, I will pay that person, the victim, $10,000 cash. But Bob Luca is also a skeptic, but he's skeptical of Philip Klass. He said, I think he'd be a skeptic unless one landed on his, right in his front yard, and even then, if there weren't other witnesses, he'd probably deny it anyway. That's the way the man thinks. Bob and his wife, Betty Luca, claim that on separate occasions, they were abducted by aliens. Betty's memories of her alleged abduction are so vivid, she's able to recreate the events in her drawings. They took a needle and they had thrust it up into my left nostril, into my head, and it was very painful. The leader placed his hand on my forehead to take away a great deal of the pain. And then they decided to do another test, which they took another needle and they, they thrust it through my navel. And I could feel it vibrating as it moved along around the different organs inside of me. Betty was able to remember locked away details of her abduction with the help of Fred Max, a hypnotist who specializes in regressive hypnosis. Betty's stories are very consistent and she's particularly straightforward. It's the concept of her lying would be just a thought you wouldn't entertain. But Philip Klass doesn't buy it. He says UFO stories lack physical evidence, including the classic alien abduction story of Betty and Barney Hill. Betty and Barney Hill claim to have been abducted in 1961. If Betty or Barney had brought back something like this digital electronic quartz watch and said, look what the spacemen gave me, or look what I took when they were not looking. We would have examined that in, 19, in the mid-1960s and say, nothing like this can be manufactured on Earth today. So a quartz watch 20 years ago would have been convincing evidence. Carl Higdon in Texas says he has physical evidence to prove his abduction story. claims he was hunting in the woods when he first saw the aliens. As he raised his gun to shoot, his bullet left the gun in slow motion and landed only 50 feet away. This is a, a regular bullet. This one right here is a case that this come out of. I walked out and picked this up about 50 foot from where I fired. When Carl picked up the bullet, he found it melted and deformed. To Carl, this was proof enough that aliens were in control of the situation. The next day, I took it to the sheriff and asked him what it was, because I had never seen anything like that. And he told me that it was a 7mm mag uh, bullet, but he had never seen one in that condition. And he said, there's a lot of strange things that happened down there that night. He said, leave it alone claims that after the aliens released him from their spacecraft, he returned a new man. I had spots on my lung from having TB when I was younger. I don't have any spots left on my lungs, and I had uh, kidney stone real bad. I haven't had any kidney stone since. And uh, so I guess a lot of it was for the better. Philip Klass disagrees and says something's terribly wrong. What we have are people who are psychologically disturbed, psychologically troubled people, who instead of going to trained psychotherapists, experienced psychotherapists, who can help them, instead they are turning to the amateur, the UFO abduction therapist. <laughs> hasn't yet had to make good on his $10,000 offer, and the way things look, he probably won't have to. 
after 23 years of my own investigations and 20 years of Air Force investigation, there is not a single piece of credible scientific evidence to indicate that the Earth is being visited by alien spaceships.